All right. So for um for this afternoon, okay, last week, okay, last week you had your your major exam and the last part of our prelim exam was an overview of the health information system. Okay, it was an overview of the health information system. So right now, we're actually going to talk about your health information system head on. So this is actually this is not ano naman, this is not long although um, I would be explaining some things and we will be going deeper into the use of health information system, not only in the laboratory, not only in the hospital, but the, the use of health information system in general. So the objectives of this um, lesson is first for you to discuss the roles of health information system. So its role, not only, again, nga, not only in not only in the laboratory but the entire hospital next is to enumerate the different components of health information system so later on we will be talking about the um, essential components of your health information system and lastly is to be able to identify the different data sources for health information so last time we did talk about the fundamental components like your electronic health record your personal health record and your health information exchange but to be talking about information or data today we will actually be talking about um, specific data that you can see on your um, on those three components okay so moving forward okay moving forward we will be talking about health informatics so health informatics again is the application of both your technology and systems in healthcare settings so when we were discussing about um, health informatics last um during our last discussion for the prelim for the prelim period we did discuss about health information technology and health information management and we said that it is the, the health informatics is actually the, mar the marriage between the two so health information system okay so health information system on the other hand will now cover the different systems that capture that store that manage and that transmit health-related information that can be sourced from individuals or activities of a of an in, of a health institution. So, having said that, okay, having said that, so let us just put the foundation clearly. Okay, let's just put the foundation clearly that the systems that we did talk about on health information technology is now being used for healthcare-related or health-related uh, management. Of your information so as we go along we'll be talking about different I know we'll be talking about different examples of health information systems such as um, this that as follows so the first one is the, the disease surveillance system so we do have a disease surveillance system like what we have right now with COVID-19 so the good thing about this is that um, the good thing about your this is surveillance system is that it will enable you it and will it will also enable the policymaker the government and everyone on the position to actually um, do better um, do better mitigations with regards to the pandemic that is happening right now so that this is surveillance system later on I'll give you an example um, this is surveillance system. It actually is available already here in the Philippines. So we're current, we're, we currently we are currently using this one. Okay. So secondly, we also have district level routine information system. So when we say district, these are for your municipal, okay, your municipalities, your your barangay. So we also have um, um, district level routine information system to make sure that those in for the young welfare of everyone who is in the community is also taken care of aside from that we also have the hospital patient administration system okay and human resource management information system so this talks about more on the the administrative and of course the resourcing um, components in the hospital then we say administrative um, we're talking about yan yung mga yung mga doctors, yung mga medical directors. So they, they do also have their own um, health, uh, what do you call this? They also have their own information system. And of course, ito, the human resource management information system, this is actually, um, take for example, uh, 
hindi nyo pa to nakikita first and foremost because um, you're still students none of you are still work none of you are working but the human resource management information system um, here lies all the information of your employees yung mga leaves nila yung mga benefits so everything are in here okay everything are in here um, in addition to that okay um, the one highlighted here are this I sorry lumipa the one highlighted here are your hospital information system, your laboratory information system, and materials management system. So these are very important, okay? These are very important. Why? Because this is the one that we are actually are very much concerned of. In addition to that is your, um, of course, yung, yung disease surveillance system natin. So HIS, ayan, health information system, this talks about later on when we discuss it further, in the succeeding chapters and the succeeding lessons of our book so hospital information system okay when we are talking about hospital information system we are talking about um the billing even the ad, um, registration and patient identification it's all included there the laboratory information system on the other hand this talks about um doctors requesting for tests um now even once you enter the specimen into the machine it will automatically run the examinations that was um requested for that particular patient and that is actually um that benefit is actually being given by laboratory information system so in the laboratory information system from the moment take for example um take for example we have miss ebrio miss ebrio would have her blood extraction we would have her her blood extraction, take for example, for for cholesterol, okay, for cholesterol. So once that she came in, okay, he will be registered automatically to the health in hospital information system for her information, her demographics, and then eventually the doctor will now be um, requesting tests for that particular patient. So take for example, cholesterol na. And then the moment that Miss Ebrio went to the laboratory, they will just be calling her name, um, will just verify medtech na gumagawa nito ha they will just be verifying her information um they will just verify um um certain imp um information that are identifier that she really is miss ebrio and then eventually from the blood collection from the processing and even the releasing of the results to both to the patient and to the Physician is also being done by laboratory information system. Okay, so I am giving you our like a a big picture view of your laboratory information system. On the other hand, what about materials management system? So this is for the inventory. Okay, even though we do have material management system, so most of our, if for example. Most of the auditors still do count it. Okay, they still do count. Um, those things but when it comes to material management system this is very important especially in the laboratory especially when it comes to our reagents our supplies kasi um, hindi tayo po pwedeng maubusan ng mga supplies ng, ng mga essentials natin in the laboratory sir will there be a time that a laboratory would need to ano maybe some of you are wondering sir paano pag naubos yung ano paano pag naubos yung, yung supplies natin what usually is the the first line take for example there is really no um supplies yet nothing is coming in yet M most of the time we do send out okay we do send out specimens to other laboratory okay so take for example for saint Luke's, um if in case there are some tests that are not available there although sell them because uh, uh, because saint Luke's already really got all almost all tests and then if take for example it's not in St. Luke's Quezon City, it will be forwarded to Quezon, um, St. Luke's Global City. So, ganun yung mga ano natin. But it should not be happening yung ganyan if only we have a an efficient management information, materials infor management system. All right? So, by the way, if you do have any questions, Miss Laika, I cannot see the, I cannot see the chat box right now, but if ever there are, so please ano lang, um, inform me, okay? So 
moving forward now, so this is an example, okay? For the disease surveillance, we actually have the Philippine Integrated Disease Surveillance and Response. So please remember the PIDSR. The PIDSR um, was actually mandated by a law. So please remember that PIDSR is the Philippine Integrated Disease Surveillance and Response. Remember what I was telling you last time, guys, when it comes to when it comes to um, when it comes to reporting of diseases, take for example one in Zamboanga, and then it will be reported to the DOH here in the here in in Manila, the main. So it's actually through the help of your um, PIDSR. Okay, your PIDSR, all the diseases are actually in here. Okay, so be it communi um, communicable and non-communicable diseases, they are all in here. The HRIS, the Human Resource Information System that we were talking about a while back, and it talks about the compensation, the training. So technically, what I was, what I want to to give you out on the HRIS is that in the um, in the human resource information system all the processes are integrated in one system so all processes that concerns administrative uh, administrative issues will be on the administrative health um, administrative system everything that needs um, everything about the laboratory in is in the LIS everything about HR compensation the payroll it's all in the HRIS so you see um, in the uh, the help that is being given to us by health information system is that it integrated everything on one system more like your phones so I am guessing that most of us are actually having your are already having our smartphone and your smartphone is a calculator a camera a music player a radio uh, a, a, you can do message there it's a telephone you can do calls you can watch movies you can watch Netflix and I hope you do you did watch the anana the Bly Manor it's good and then of course um, aside from that okay before you need to have all those gadgets, all those um, machines and devices for you to be able to do everything that you want to do. But with the smartphone, okay, with the smartphone, and tomorrow, by the way, is the Apple event already. Okay, who's excited? So tomorrow will be, I tomorrow, tole, um, those smartwatches got everything for you. Okay, they have everything for you. Much more like your health information system. Are we clear? Clear tayo doon. Your health information system also gives you information about the demographics, about what is the mortality rate right now, the morbidity of this particular disease, what are the, the medications, what are the allergies, everything literally. Later, when we go to the data, it are all included in the health information system. So in addition to that, we also have district surveillance system. So take for example here in Barang in Pasig City. So you have all the barangays in Pasig City, and then you will be able to just click it, and then you'll be able to see how uh, what is the level of in uh, or or what is the mortality and morbidity of COVID-19 in that particular area in addition to that we also have this hospital patient administration system so take for example um we do have a new patient so it they will all be um registered in the hospital administration system so their name their address everything about them it will be entered there and then it will be forwarded into other and it will be forwarded into other systems that's why Remember when we were talking about health information exchange? So that is an exchange between one system and to another. Okay? So more like an exchange from the, take for example, from the hospital information system going to the PIDSR. So that is, those are the exchanges that we were talking about. In the laboratory, okay, let us go now in the laboratory. Okay, in the laboratory, we have here your biz box. Okay? We have here your biz box. I don't know why is it covered. Bakit nag overlap yung pictures on my on my side right now? But this is the hospital information system. Okay, in the hospital information system, we do have the informations. We do have the 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 what do you call this? The different tests, the different procedures, and even the different doctors 
that needs to attend to that particular patient. So more like the Grace Anatomy moment, it's like that. The laboratory information system, on the other hand, on the LIS, this will give us a picture. Okay, this will give us a picture of the things that are to be extracted to that particular patient, the different tests that we need to collect from them, okay, and the different tests that we need to do on their specimens. We also have this material management system. So as you can see, everything is organized. So when you take out something, take out a supply, you will actually be um, doing a barcode or yeah, just you will just be scanning a barcode before you release a particular uh, material and then it will automatically be on the inventory. So you see guys, the health information system, the information systems in general, actually eliminate much of the clerical or the or the hands-on or the personal na pagbabantay ng mga tao. Why? So aside for, aside from actually uh, limiting the number of people, it would actually also enable us to what to increase efficiency on the human resource services. So yung mga services, the health services that they are providing, it will actually be optimized because they will not be do busy. They will not actually be consuming their time doing the counting of specimen, the counting of test tubes, because all of those things will be done by your manage material management system, which leads me now to the ultimate role of your health information system, the role and its function, okay? Its role and its function. So um, first and foremost, sabi nga natin dito, what is its role? What is its role and um, actually what is... Um, I would say that this is actually more like their benefit, okay? More like the benefit that our health information system is giving us. So the role and a function of HIS is first, easier access to files. So I cannot overemphasize this anymore. We've been talking about HIS since, I don't know, um, during, the prelim, during the prelims. So easier access. And I have given you sort of... Um, examples before that whenever a particular patient would come in, take for example, five years or a year or a month after their result or their test has been done, it actually would accumulate a lot of papers already, a lot of results. But because, because of the um, health information system, because of all this because of all the systems that we we have been talking about a while back, okay, we are now able to um, easily access all the informations. What else? Better control. So when we say better control, it only means that um, I think it was a question last meeting. Okay? It was a, a question last meeting. So better control, not everyone can actually access all the things that are in there. Only authorized personnel can have access to the information of your patient's health, the doctor's, are the only one given permission to like update the patient information. But yeah, still, sabi nga last time when some of your classmates were asking, sure, what if um, they change it, okay? Um, that will now be the, rel the liability, the responsibility of those, of course, having that account, okay? Having that account. But let us just look into the, the, brighter, the brighter side about this. It's, it's because... Um, better control meaning take for example especially right now huh especially right now here in, in now in the pandemic most of the things are actually remote like our classes right now it's all online it's remote and um you you need not to go to like you need not to go to banks anymore you need not to go to hospitals to get your check up you don't need to go to like the school anymore personally so that's actually one thing that um, that's, um, health information is providing us naman on the health sector because um, better control, meaning um, they will able to access, they will able to, to manipulate all the things that ha needs to be done even if they are not really on that certain place. In addition to that, ayan, in addition to that, we also would have easier, easier update. So take for example, it's as simple as like tweeting. It's as simple as posting your 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 status on Facebook. Simple as sending a direct message or a PM. Okay, as as easy as that. So 
we'll be able to like manage the the information of your patients you can like access the medical history you can update it you can call them you can schedule an appointment you can um do um pay on your online already so all of those things okay all of those things are being provided because of your health information system and not only that so say after the creation of your record you the patient information now can be accessed and reviewed anytime okay and you, we can make copies that can be printed and then release it to the patient upon request or just simply release it to the physicians that are assigned to them okay and lastly ayan improved communication improved communication so health information system allows us to communicate with doctors and hospitals not only within the hospital but also outside the hospital so it's very important okay it's very important of course that we all adhere to like patient privacy um clauses and of course data security to ensure that um all those information are kept okay private and confidential okay private and com confidential so Having said that now, okay, having said that these are the roles and function of your, your health information system, it's now very important for us to discuss the different components, okay? The different components of health information system. But before I go along, are you still there? Yes, po. Yes, sir. Yes, po, sir. Okay. Yes, good. sir. Okay. So, okay, thank you so much. So, yeah, and like what I was um like what I was saying our um last time, diba, we do have disadvantages and advantages. But as for me, um if I'm gonna look at um if I'm gonna look at um health information system, it actually offers us, especially us in the medical field, more of the advantage than the disadvantages. Okay. So tignan nyo na lang, diba? So para mas ma ma-memorize nyo na lang ng ma mabilis tong rules and function. Tandaan nyo lang yung tandaan nyo lang yung yung easier access, better control, and easier update and improved communication. So let's move on now to the what? To the components of health information system. So do, we do have six. The six elements of HIS. Okay? The six elements of HIS are number one, the um yung health information system resources indicators we have data sources data management information products and dissemination and use so let's move forward to the first one okay so the first one is of course we do have here the framework the health information system resources so framework on legislation regulation planning and resource says required to be fully functional so the thing here is that when it comes to i uh, know when it comes to health information system resources Okay, when it comes to the health information resources, of course, we have um, manpower that should be here. Okay, of course, we have the resources, but we have the money. Okay, you have the money. But what I want to emphasize further is actually the, the health information system, the, the resources of your health information system are not just the logistics support or the financing, but more actually of the collaboration between the medical practitioners and the engineers the i the ict the in the the one who will be developing our the one who will be developing our um health information system so the very very important thing here is that the very important thing here is that um they would should they should be able to come up with a health information system that will really cater uh, that will really cater the needs of the hospital or the needs of the laboratory. Like take for example, you won't buy, you won't buy, um, you won't buy an iPhone if you're not fond of taking pictures of, you know, the usual things that you can do on your your iPhone. You will not be buying that if you're not you are not up to their, um, to the specs or to the things that it can offer you. Same thing with the health information system. We only will be using health information system and some of its, take for example, may mga ganun din kasing health information system. Like you can just choose what you can use and you will just only be paying for that. 
And for you to be able, take for example, you really want to create your own, you can actually partner and collaborate with engineers, ITs, information technologists, so that they would be able to develop a software for you that will really cater your needs in the in the laboratory or in the in the hospital. So that's very important, guys, ha, that um, that uh, when it comes to health information system, the resources are very important. The manpower, the financing, and the logistics support us, of course. And having said that, they should be able to come up and develop with the health information system that would suit your laboratory and hospital. How could they do that? They can actually do that through indicators. So these are the basis of your health information system plan. Are we gonna do, why are we going to shift to HIS? Why are we gonna do um, automation? Why are we going to do this and do that? They need indicators, okay? We do need, we do need indicators, okay? So these indicators um, and related targets should actually be dependent on first, the health determinant. So the determinants of health are as follows. So you can see it there. Um, the health determinants for an optimal um, an optimal and a healthy person is, of course, um, genetic factors. We have genetic factors here. We also have nutrition, um, lifestyle, and environment. So please write it down. I think it's not on your book. So please jot it down. Genetics, nutrition, lifestyle, environment, and medical care. So all those things are health determinants. And these are also your indicators indicators on why are we going to use health information system so take for example why genetics so you want to to have a um like a dna bank so this is already bioinformatics naman now on the other hand nutrition then so the prevalence or the incidence of those with malnutrition the lifestyle diba? environment and even medical care especially Okay, so everything are, all of these things are indicators in the planning of your HIS. Aside from that health system, okay, what should be the input, um, uh, what should be the input process outcome na, or output na processes natin. So all of those things, like for example, um, your HIS, so one of the disadvantages nga natin, di ba, na, that we were mentioning last time is that um for some generation for some generation when we are going to shift when we shift to to health information system it will be cumbersome to them it will be difficult but um at the end when you look at the big picture and realize that it actually if uh, efficiently optimize your health system then that is also one indicator that would actually encourage people to really shift to his already and, and lastly, ayan, yung mga health status natin, okay? Health status. So we want that all our projects will actually be one benefiting, of course, the people around us. So moving forward, ayan, take for example, we have here, um, uh, we do have here the different, ano, we do have here different indicators. So you have the population of your patient. So this is one actually. It's actually one indicator na you need to shift on, onto automation, into health information system. Because ito ha, remember, rem, re, try to imagine, okay? Try to imagine storing 61,938 patients' results every day. So take for example, if all those 60,000 patients will have their tests every day. So imagine the pile of paper, the pile of information that you need to manage. But... Nothing to worry about anymore because HIS, the information system, got it all for us. So now when now that we are shifting into health information system, it's becoming a trend. It's becoming a trend because um siguro na, I don't know if you discussed in the PMLSP already. One thing that um one important thing or one reason why there are errors in the laboratory are because of clerical um, present. So meaning to say, the more people writing the results, the more people, um, they need to copy it here and then they will type it. So those clerical, um, those clerical procedures actually increases the variability or the errors in our procedures. So for us to be able to like 
you know, imagine mo yan, 60,000. 60,000 yung susulatin mong results, 60,000 yung isusulat mong mga, 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 mga updates. So that will really be a lot. Okay? That will really be a lot. So it's very important na now, di ba? Now, more than ever, we are really leveraging technology for healthcare. Okay? So that are for the indicators. Again, to wrap it up, indicators, these are the driving forces or these are the things that um, causes an institution now to move into HIS. And not only that, these are also the indicators that they would want to see in their health information system. Okay? In their health information system. So moving forward, ayan. We also have here your data sources. So later on, we will actually be having more to talk about with when it comes to your data. So there are two categories of data. One is the population-based approach. So these are the civil registration, the census, the population survey. So we have the commission on population that they they do that they they do it. Okay. So the con the census, how many people are there already? The death, the more the the death rate, the birth rate, all of those things are being counted. Those are in, those are data sources. We also have here civil registration. So yung mga birth certificates natin, how many are married, single, complicated, may ganun ba? Okay, yung mga complicated. And of course, we also have institution-based data. These are individual res records, resource records, and service, service records. So ano yung mga um, informations that our institution are holding? So you see, uh, between these two, okay, when we are talking about data sources, um, um, take for example, we do have health surveys, yung mga research and information produced by a community-based organization, okay? Um, this one can actually be um, of good help not only on population but also with the institution. So that's one thing that... You need to remember, guys. Huh? Please remember the examples that we have given. So, populate for the population and the institution-based data. So, now that you have the data, so take for example, now that you have the data, de ba? So, we're still on the components, guys, ha. Huh? So, not that now that you have the resources, you do know the indicators, the things that you want to see in the health information system, and it, now you do have your data sources. Now that you have the data sources, of course, it's time now to manage those data. So, um, data management refers to handling of data starting from the collection. So, the moment you collected the data to the, from your patient, from the moment you store them, where, where do you store them? Not, no, not anymore on your, ver your physical folders, but actually your cloud storage and your, yeah, your virtual folders, to be exact. So, when you store the data, ayan, um, when we collect... Uh, and store data to flow and quality assurance. Ayan, may quality assurance, processing and compilation of data analysis. So let me just go to quality assurance first. Quality assurance, of course, making sure that everything is um, um, performing well, not only the test, but also how you manage your information. Okay, how you manage your information. Kasi try to imagine this, guys. No matter how good or how state-of-the-art your machines are, no matter how competent your medical technologies are, your doctors are, if the releasing of the results, diba? if the releasing of the results, the last part of the, the, the chain, the releasing of the result is faulty, then everything will also crash. Okay? It, it will also crash. So it's very important to really do quality assurance and quality control all the time. So aside from that processing, so take for example, you want to copy it, you want to um, create a report about it, same thing with compilation. If you want to like um, draw a research out of it, so you can do that with um, the data that are being managed within your health information system. Aside from that data analysis, ito, I cannot overemphasize it again because when it comes to data analysis, the next decisions of your, like for example, the next, this, sa in, inside the class na lang, Inside the class na lang, take for example. If I take for example, notice that most of the students are um, having failing grades. So there are, I mean, you would know the remedy to do, the mitigation to do. And that, what, uh, that is what um, data management through health information system provides us. Kasi imagine, di ba, you have to count. Imagine nung mga, I don't know if you ever... Um, 
if you were born already during the time na manual manual pa rin yung vo- yung yung votation here in the Philippines like you manually draw your vote you cast your votes manually and they manually count it okay they manually count it so imagine that diba you it's it would really take time in a- an- analyzing your data okay so Talking about this information now, okay, talking about this information now, the data that you have, this will now become your, this will now become the uh, the sources of your information products. So data is transformed into useful information that serves as evidence and provides insight um, into crucial, uh, provides insight crucial to shaping health action. So take for example, here in Hospital 1 and Hospital 2, both hospital have um, complete set of PPE, different brand. Hospital 1 has complete staffing with appropriate training. Hospital 2 is understaffed, all staff with appropriate training and experience. Hospital 2 has more health workers infected with COVID-19 than Hospital 1. So, in just a simple example like this one, diba? In just a, a simple example like this one, you'd be able to know what things to do next. Okay, you would know the things that you would do next, especially um, since you have all the information available already. So, gaya nga nung sinasa, um, do you guys still remember the, ano, the ecosystem, the HIS ecosystem that I was telling you guys? So, the HIS ecosystem really works that way. So, the, in the exchange of information from one system to the other, those are your information products, okay? Those are information products. And by the way, um, I just uh, I was just reminded of a very good um, a very good documentary that I would recommend to uh, recommend that you all watch the Social Dilemma. I don't know if um, some of you already watched Social Dilemma, but do watch Social Dilemma. So it talks about your informations because there. So it looks like um, the same thing, diba? Um Sabi natin kani last time during our ecosystem, our data is being used by researchers, researchers, and also being used by platforms. But not only that, it is also being bought by some information. Take for example, your yung mga informations ninyo sa Facebook is is being um, paid by advertisers. Okay, it, it is being paid by advertisers. Okay, so. Wrapping it up, so now that we have your, I know, now that we have your, um, now that we have your health information system, you have your indicators, you have your data sources, you manage your data, and transform those data sources initially that you gathered into information products, okay, we would now be able to disseminate it and use it. So when we say dissemination and use, your health information system enhances the value of health information by making it readily available to policymakers and data users. I think it's called data users. So um, those who use your data, take like for example, they want to use your data for a survey. You want they want to use your data for um, for a research. Okay, they want to use your data. Like for example, um, in a particular place, they would actually. I don't know if you realize this, no. When you go to your Google, when you go to Google and you just try to search, take for example, when you try to search, ako, right now, ang sino, uh, I, I am searching for, like take for example, I'm searching for coffee and condo units. Um, the things that are appearing on my Facebook, on my Instagram, literally on most of my social media, are all, um, are all about coffee and condominium. So, how did they do that? How did they do that? That is because they um, some informations that you have on the web are being disseminated and used by different parties. Similarly, okay, similarly, we also have that in the laboratory. So all those informations will also be used. Like for example, um, there is an unknown case of they are trying to diagnose your 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 disease or your condition. So they would be able to like exchange information and use all information available on your um, medical health in your electronic health record. Okay, so 
moving forward now, okay, moving forward now, so we also have the IPO model. The IPO model, okay, the input process output. So input, okay, so available health information system resources. And then process, they will be um, processing the information, managing the information, and creating now your information product, which is now your output. The transformation of your data into in information that can be used for decision making and dissemination in such um, and use of such information within the within the hospital. Okay, so I hope you're still awake. We're about um, ano naman. I'm on my 15th slide over 26, so I think I have 10 slides more. Ayan. So. Moving forward, okay, moving forward, these are now the different data sources for health information system. Sir, do we have to memorize that? Yes, you have to. So we have your demographic data, your administrative data, your health risk information, health status, your patient medical history, your current medical management, and outcomes data. So let's move forward to the first one, which is your demographic data. Demographic data simply means the facts about your patient. So this includes the name of your patients, the age, the birthday, gender, marital status. So all the information that you're seeing right now on your screen are all the information that are being taken from your patient in the beginning of their admission. So this demographic data are very important, not only because they are identifier to your patient, because they would also um, give you hints and clues, especially for the physicians, in the diagnosing, in the diagnosis of their patient. So that's number one, demographic data. Anything that you actually would see in a normal bio data is actually the same, okay? Similar to that. So in addition to that, ayan, in addition to that, we also have the administrative data. So what are the administrative data? So it includes information on your services. What are the different tests? What are the different procedures that you are going to do? On the other hand, this also includes the um, the diagnostic procedures that you do, outpatient procedures that you do, the kind of practitioners that you have, the physician specialty, so um, the nature of the institution, and of course the charges and the payment. So this infer this data talks about naman about the institution, about the hospital. If the demographic talks about your patient, your administrative data talks about your institution, okay? But most of the things that we are going to talk about are concerning our patient. Like this, for example, we also have your health risk information. So what are the health risk information? So health risk information are records of your lifestyle, your behavior as a patient, and his or her medical history and other genetic factors. So these are useful in evaluating patients' propensity for different diseases. So are they a smoker, a drinker? Do they have sedentary lifestyle? Do they have mutations on their genes? So all are also being included in uh, in here. But this time, okay, the demographics, ito siya, more on uh, things to know about you. But when we go deeper, okay, and to your health, so it's a different story, okay? It's a different story. So like here, in your risk information, you have here, um, by its, by, medyo ano naman, diba? Self-explanatory. Health risk, the risk that you are actually into. So, if you have mutations on your gene, all will also be included here, okay? So, propensity, by the way, is the, you, that is the tendency, okay, to behave in a particular way, all right? Propensity. So, Fourth, okay, fourth, we have health status. So health status, so according to WHO, di ba, na paulit-ulit na natin din describe that health is not just the absence of disease or infirmity, but the well-being um, physically, mentally, emotionally um, as well, and socially. So health status, so health status refers to the quality of life that the patient leads, um, that a patient leads, which is a crucial to his or her um, health. So when it comes to health status, okay, when it comes to health status, it's very important as well, okay, it's very important as well because it shows one's perception 
of his or her health in comparison with that of his or her peers. So, yung health status natin, di ba, sometimes um, most of our doctors, yun yung unang tinatanong, di ba, ano pong nararamdaman nyo, how do you feel, how, how do you feel um, right now, yung mga ganyan. So, domains of health, ayan, are not just about um, the absence of ano, the absence of your disease, but also phys physical functioning, mental, emotional, cognitive, and even social functioning. So, um, this would actually be a question for the patient on how they would assess or how do they perceive the their health in general. So, aside from that, okay, aside from health status, okay, aside from health status, we also have here your um, patient medical history. So patient medical history, um, I don't know who among you are in the chat box, who among you have experience to be admitted in the emergency room or who among you have experience to be um, admitted in the hospital already in the chat box. Ayan, si Peregrino daw. Si Peregrino na lang ba nandito? Ayan, so mo, mo, I think most of you, ayan. So, there are some of you all who already have um, experience being admitted into the hospital. And most of the time, di ba, one thing that they they actually ask you, are your hospital admission, during the hospital admission, are your pregnancy and live birth, ayan, surgical procedure, and of course, family history. So, and so patient medical history, example, ayan. So, it is actually a checklist. So, are you pregnant? Ayan, are you taking any, med any medicine, so do you have, um, it will actually be answering um, some important health uh, health questions and also your, um, the conditions of your, the conditions of your patient. So take for example, um, were there any diseases, history of diseases that your patient had encountered before, okay, have encountered before. So that is also one. So, Aside from that, okay, aside from that, la, second to the last is your current medical management. So when we talk about current medical management, take for example, currently you have your, you are being treated for a particular disease or you are taking medication or maintenance. So all of those are also being included here. Um, in the current medical management, it reflects the patient screening possessions, the diagnosis of the patient or diagnosis, the allergies, the allergies, the medication, and the current health problems of your patient, okay? The current health problem of your patient. So, let us just try to, ano, ha? let us just try to, uh, like, differentiate it. In the health risk information, these are your tendencies, yung mga possible, okay, mga possible na mangyari sa'yo in the future, your the things are that are in the future because risk okay when it comes to patient medical history we talk about the past the existing okay the past or the not the existing but the past um your past health status or your your mga the diseases that you had before and even the procedures that you had before Comparing it now to current medical management, okay? These are current. These are these are the these are the things that are happening in the present. So take for example, your your medications mo, yung mga allergies mo, the diet that you are in right now, and even the diseases that you are having currently, okay? And of course, last but definitely not least, our outcomes data. So outcomes data, um, it presents the measures of the after effects of healthcare and various health problems. So take for example, these are now the information with regards to um, a particular procedure, what what happened um, or the after effects, like what we are saying uh, here. And also outcomes directly reported by the patient after treatment will be the most useful. Um, example nito, take for example, are your your patient health records, di ba? Yung mga outcomes data na nilagay nyo doon. So, unexpected, do they have unexpected complications? Do they have side effects? So, all those informations are also included here. Okay? All are also included here. So, 
to wrap it up today, the time is already 2.21, okay? The time is 2.21. So, next meeting, okay, next meeting on next Tuesday, we will be having a quiz on lesson 4 and 5, okay? Next meeting, we will be having lesson 4 and 5. So, on Friday, we will be having our class, okay? We'll be having our class um, for lesson 5 and then our laboratory. So, before that, ayan. Uh, before I do some of my announcements, so these are the key things to remember, ha, the, the roles of your health information system, of course, the different components and the different data sources that we have. So let me just try to end my, re my recording. So thank you so much for listening. So now we open the floor. Now we open the floor. I'll just stop the recording. And now we open the floor.